Hello again, and welcome to a special edition of The Power of Better. I'm Elbert Walters III, the Executive Director of Powering Chicago. In this episode, we're going to highlight some of our favorite projects from the past, which showcase the technologies, innovations, and enhancements built by IBEW Local 134 Union Electricians and the Powering Chicago Electrical Contractors. For this episode, we're coming to you from the IBEW NECA Technical Institute in Alsop. This is where the electricians of tomorrow are learning the skills to ensure that they are equipped for the challenges of demanding high-tech projects that Powering Chicago Electrical Contractors are hired to complete. The sprawling 1 million square foot apt electronics campus in Glenview is both iconic and extremely energy efficient. From its sparkling showroom floor to its massive storage warehouses to its new recycling center, apt now saves roughly $400,000 a year thanks to its sustainability investments. There's no reason not to do it. It's the right thing to do, first of all, and you should think about you know future generations, but you really end up making money often. Those investments include three separate solar arrays at App's main building, new warehouse, and recycling center. 2.6 megawatts producing 3,300 megawatt hours per year and two megapack battery energy storage systems that produce 2,900 megawatt hours per year, all installed by Continental Electric Construction Company's Renewable Energy Division. The actual solar array produces a thousand times more energy than can be stored, which the customer on the site here utilizes that to offset internal cost in their facility. Perhaps the ultimate in sustainability is the 35,000 square foot LEED certified Countryside Municipal Building with 600 solar panels that power the entire facility, including the solar carport and EV charging station. It boasts a green roof low emissivity glass windows, which are 84% more energy efficient and an interactive display that shows how much energy is used, which comes out to 275 megawatt hours per year. High Power Electric was the lead electrical contractor on this groundbreaking project. The biggest thing is on the electric is the consumption. They were trying to make sure that it hit on their model targets. All the sensors in the room set properly so they shut off and turn on when they're supposed to. They also have receptacles are switched as well along with the lights, so at night any leaching loads are uh, shut off. These are all things we had to make sure that we were spot on. Data centers are another area of emphasis in this modern technology world. They are popping up everywhere. As the backbone of IT infrastructure, they manage and store vast amounts of information required for cloud computing. The T5 data center in Elk Grove Village produces 17 megawatts and is roughly 200,000 square feet. Gibson Electric designed the electrical systems virtually before the on-site build, which prioritizes power resiliency. They all get two lines of utility power and then a backup generator and then even a backup to the generator. And then from there, they have a uh, battery system that handles the load when you transfer the generator. There's literally no downtime in any of these data centers. Powering Chicago contractors are also front and center on a variety of diverse projects. When the old Conrad Hotel off the Mag Mile went through a three-year renovation to be rebranded a residence inn by Marriott, the contractor relied on G&M Electrical as its sub. Kitchenettes were installed in nearly 300 rooms, which required two to three additional circuits per room. ADA compliant doorbells also went in every room. LED and Lutron lighting now help illuminate the signature 101 club bar and restaurant. My role here was basically facilitating layout and ensuring that what cuts that we had, what drawings were matching per room, that was kind of a challenge, but everything seemed to work out fine. The big thing is coordinating with the other trades as well, because we can, we can get our material, our pipe, our conduit, everything in. A project miles away from the hotel in both distance and scope is the Algonquin Wastewater Treatment Facility. Three to four million gallons of water get pumped through here daily. Through a series of basins, the water is separated and biological nutrients are removed. 
The water is then purified and disinfected before being released into the Fox River. With public health as a top priority, this facility cannot break down and must be cold compliant, which is why it hired Jameson and Bowens to make sure its NFPA 70B fire code requirements were up to speed. Jameson and Balance also used its infrared and other technologies going to each electrical room, scanning for hot spots and unbalanced loads. So our guys are using not just infrared technology, we're also using ultrasonic technology. So before we even open up the panels or anything like that, our guys are scanning the panels to make sure that if there's any anomalies or anything behind the panels, they're listening for it. So it's the safety for our guys is imperative. Completing complex projects like this isn't just about the job. It's who's working on the job. For Marin Electric, it's investing time and sharing expertise with minority contractors through the Electrical Contractors Association's Small Business Mentor Protege Program. There is not one department in this organization that they don't have access to. We currently have one of their estimators from each of the companies and with our estimating department. I've been involved intimately with Rocha in terms of accounting, and they have access to every level of this organization, including the president. Rocha is Rocha Electric, owned by Alberta Rocha, whose firm just completed electrical upgrades at the famous Goodman Theater. Marin Electric has also mentored Calvin Payne, owner of Simply ENC, who's helping build the Sankofa Wellness Center, the first new construction in Garfield Park in 40 years. There are various issues of Rocha Electric uh, Company faced, one being estimating, second uh, being purchasing, third business development were contracting issues that we faced. Keep a track of daily reports, keep a track of daily spending, daily certified payroll. It was more of a quotable. Stand on top of that, make sure we record everything that we do with a job. We would like to thank all of the institutions, electrical contractors, and IBEW Local 134 electricians who have been fantastic partners in this Power of Better series. We look forward to bringing you more of the innovative and creative projects in future episodes. I'm Elbert Walters III, and on behalf of everyone at The Power of Better, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.